Okay, video number three, please. Let's have a look. We are going to perform a linear regression on this data set. Very, very straightforward, um, he says. So let's, I'm just gonna do it in here. Let's just put a new cell um, below where we've defined the data and above where we've plotted the graph. You don't need to plot the graph to do the regression. You can do it immediately on the raw data if you want. Uh, let's insert a cell below. Okay, so um, we're gonna use a polyfit. So this is within the matplotlib libraries. Um, if I use, um, I think this should work if I use pylab inline um, here instead. Um, and then I do, okay, mc is equal to polyfit. Um, the, I'll throw the x data in there, I'll throw the y. And I'm going to put a 1 in there because that defines the index of the fit. So if I wanted to fit a straight, straight line, it would be 1. If it was a quadratic, it would be 2. Um, if it was a cube, I would obviously put 3, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Okay, um, and the M here, it's, it's returning um, M, which is the gradient of the line. And of course, C is the intercept of the uh, x-axis. Okay, x-axis, y-axis, y-axis. Okay, so if I run that, um, it does it, no questions asked. Uh, not terribly useful if I want to see the output. Let's print the output so you can believe me. Print, uh, let's do, uh, let's say m is equal to zero, um, and then c is equal to one. EV. Sorry, I'm still getting used to the way Python 3 um, allows you to output a string. Uh, I could do it in Python 2 in a heartbeat. Hang on, format. And then that's M and C. So let's try that. Seven. Oh, it's done it. There you go. Um, right. M equals, okay. That's nice, but that's too many, that's too many uh, significant figures after that data point. So let's just format that slightly. Um, I think that's how you do it. Um, yes, there you go. So plot the two decimal places. Right, so that's your gradient, that's your intercept. So straight line, y equals mx plus c. So we can add that over here now. So I'm gonna create uh, two new arrays um, of data. One is gonna be the x data for um, the the straight line and one's going to be the y. So let's just call it um, linear regression x equals, I can use the lin space command that's in the uh, the numpy library. I can say let's start at zero, let's go to one, let's have a hundred data points, okay? Then um, to get my y data points I'm going to use the m and c values I've just uh, extracted from that polyfit, so ln Reg y is equal to uh, m, which is just m times uh, ln. That's the x plus the c. Okay, and then I can also do x dot plot x. Oh, lin x ln y. And I'm going to make it a uh, an unbroken line, and I'm going to say it's going to be red. How's that? Let's do it. There you go. It's on there. So I've performed a linear regression. There you go. Uh, and okay, it's it's done a few squiffy things to my graph. It's chain. It's automatically reformatted the. The range that we're just plotting. So I don't really like that. I don't want to go to negative values over here. Um, I don't really want it to, to take this much space on the y either. I am just going to, I want it to go between 0 and 1. So that's easy to do. Um, x, x dot set x lim um, 0, 1, close, square brackets, close brackets. Uh, there you go. How's that? Right, so you're done. Oh, I, one last thing. I did figure out how to change the tick label sizes over here. I'll do that now. Uh, it's the same, except I just put x dot um, cb. Um, or do I do cb dot uh, cb dot x dot tick? 
sorry, I was right the first time. Axe.cb.tick params label size equals 20. <laughs> right, don't worry about that. I will figure it out. Hang on. Easy. I'm an idiot. I was right the first time. Um, cb .ax there you go. We got there in the end. Okay, so that was it. So hopefully that's all we're covering the meeting on Wednesday. Any questions, just leave them in the comments of the video below, or you can use at HiPyLive, or even on the Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash HiPyLive. Uh, any questions will be answered. Okay, thanks for listening.